Kennedy. Hey. How are you? How you doing? Funny so. committed to the cause. We're here to protect America's only classical music musicians and those are jazz, jazz artists. This is the only music form that was born, made in America. And we have to protect them because if we don't, who will? Right? Amen. So this is a very important benefit. We're so happy for all of you that are here tonight. But before we introduce our first act, Chris wrote an amazing book about recovery. And it's a very honest book, very heartfelt. And Chris, tell us a little bit about that. Well, well first of all, I mean, it's a, a pleasure for me to be here tonight. I want to thank Anna for inviting me. And I, you know, like you say, um, that this, this, the, the folks that this benefit is, is going to help are, are creative geniuses uh, in, in an art form that obviously is, is as American as it gets. And I, you know, I come from the creative arts. I understand people who dedicate their lives to um, to creative expression, and they don't spend a lot of time worrying about paying health the health insurance bills and those kinds of things. And oftentimes. They don't have coverage. I was a member of the Screen Actors Guild for 20 years. And when I stopped working in film, uh, I became an advocate and started working for the White House and the United Nations and people talking about a major public health issue. I lost my uh, Screen Actors Guild insurance, health insurance, and I couldn't get health insurance because I had a pre-existing condition. I had hepatitis C, which I contracted in my adventuresome youth, and uh, I couldn't get health insurance. So this is what a lot of folks face, um, and it, they face it all over our, our country. There are 50 million people who are. And uh, the current administration, President Obama, did something about that. Um, hopefully, he'll have four more years to continue to do something about that. But um, uh, my uncle Teddy uh, Kennedy spent 40 years in the United States Senate trying to make health insurance a, uh, a, you know, it's a social justice issue. This is the greatest country in the world, and the fact that there's anybody in this country that doesn't, that can't get medical care is obscene. And Dizzy Gillespie asked this hospital when he, before he died, not to turn anybody away. And they've, they've given away $5 million in care up to this point, which is a, a, a real uh, testament to, to your, uh, your uh, uh, integrity and, 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 and also a, a, great, uh, uh, a great legacy for Mr. Gillespie and for, and for your hospital. So for that, we thank you. Yeah, and you know, you're very honest in your book about your own recovery process. And we know that a lot of musicians sometimes travel down that painful road right. as well. So what helped you? You've been sober for how long? 26 years. I um, think I, you deserve yeah, I've been, I, well, yeah, I, and, and this is an issue that affects a lot of folks. Yeah. I mean, I, 
I did this book called Recover to Live, which is going to come out in January because I, I look at all addiction. I look at health. I, I call them the seven toxic compulsions, alcohol, drugs, sex, food, gambling, hoarding, uh, nicotine, because the American uh, Society of Addiction Medicine decided this is a brain illness. We're learning a lot today about the human brain, and, and it's particularly with regard to this issue. And the fact is that there isn't a, there isn't a person who's not touched by this in this family. The federal government um, uh, basically s suggests that, that, that addiction is the number one public health issue in the country. And it's true, a lot of people in the creative arts seem to fall victim to this for whatever reason. That may be true in terms of percentages or it may just be because of visibility. But whatever it is, nobody in this country should suffer from this without some um, opportunity to get treatment. And, and that's what this book is about. It's, it's, a, it's a way for folks to spend 25 bucks to look at whether they, to get good information about this book. I interviewed 150 of the smartest people in the world. Wow. In the world, all over the world. Um, neuroscientists, behaviorists, psychologists, um, addiction treatment specialists, uh, to give people really good information about this illness, and then to give you an assessment tools, and then if you want to do something about it, you can start the process. This is not a hopeless thing. So um, whether it's addiction or cancer or whatever the issues are, um, the, these are these are health issues. It's a social justice issue, and it's important that people are here tonight to, to contribute to uh, a foundation that makes it possible for people to get help. Absolutely.